In order to meet the goals that your group wants to accomplish, it's important to go through a strategic planning process. This isn't a process that you're going to do once and then it's over. It's something you're going to do every time your group is presented with a new challenge or a new opportunity. In this section, I'm going to walk you through the strategic planning model that we use at Americans for Safe Access. I'm going to use one of our campaigns as an example so that your group can use a similar model to develop campaign goals and the strategies and tactics that are going to help you get there. The first step is to start with the context. In 2004, we found is that there was a high number of patients and caregivers who were still being cited and arrested, getting their medicine seized regardless of the state law. We found that the California Highway Patrol was the worst offender of these patients' rights. And we also knew that public support for medical cannabis remained high across the state. The next step is to articulate your beliefs and values. Why is your group putting time and energy into this? For the California Highway Patrol campaign, the CHP policy was illegal on its face and according to state law. The patients do not deserve to have their medicine taken away from them. And that the government, by extension of the California Highway Patrol, must be accountable to the people and policies must be guided by compassion and human rights. Those beliefs helped us uh, guide the work that we are doing on this issue. What is the goal of your effort? What would victory look like? Our goals were to achieve an injunctive and declaratory relief for the California Highway Patrol and from the Governor of California. Establish a consent decree and fees to ensure that the practice of unlawful medical marijuana seizures would stop. And we wanted to utilize the California Highway Patrol policy to change and influence other localities across the state. Condition and determiners. What things are determining the issue that you're trying to change? And what are the conditions that are keeping that in place? The conditions that we identified were that local law enforcement was still resistant to enforcing state law. The determiners were the California Highway Patrol, patients, the Attorney General, Americans for Safe Access, the courts, and local governments. Another condition was that California Highway Patrol was the worst violator of state law. The determiners here were the California Highway Patrol, California Narcotics Officers Association, the Attorney General, and the Governor. Who has the power to help make the change that you want? Often, advocates, when they don't go through a strategic planning process, they can spend time focusing on people who don't have the power to make the change that they want. Given the identified conditions and determiners, what are the strategies that you can use to reach your goals? How is your group going to change the necessary underlying conditions? What is your group going to concentrate on? Strategies that we used in the California Highway Patrol campaign included assessing the extent of harm that the California Highway Patrol policy was having on patients and actually find instances of this abuse. We put out uh, flyers and dispensaries across the state. We put out messages on our website that we were looking for individuals who had had law enforcement encounters and then we began to catalog them and ultimately put out a report about these abuses using litigation as a way to obtain declaratory and injective relief to stop the harassment of patients. And a final strategy, we knew that by taking on the top cops in the state, the California Highway Patrol, this would help us work with other law enforcement agencies. Tactics. What are the particular actions, campaigns, or programs that will carry out your strategy? The tactics we used in the California Highway Patrol campaign included searching for ideal plaintiffs for our lawsuit, filing a lawsuit in state court, filing a preliminary injunction so that we could speed up the legal process, and then negotiating the consent decree. Who is going to do the basic operations to carry out the tactics and strategies? Is it going to be your ASA chapter? Uh, are you going to need to do outreach to include people outside of your group? Do you need to bring in new lawyers, coalition members? The vehicles that we used were ASA National, the plaintiffs, we needed patients and advocates to show up to the court and to help us find plaintiffs, the media, and the League of California Cities that actually would help spread the California Highway Patrol uh, policies to cities across California. What are the key milestones or accomplishments on the path to your goal? For the CHP campaign, our objectives were to win a declaratory and injunctive relief, to win attorney's fees, to end widespread harassment, meaning citation, arrests, and medicine confiscation of patients, 
and to disseminate the CHP policy throughout the state using the League of California Cities and other advocates as a vehicle. What are the tasks and steps that are going to be acquired to accomplish each one of these objectives? What will be done, by when, and by whom? And what order should they be done in? We had to secure plaintiffs for the lawsuit. This meant putting out flyers and dispensaries um, and in other areas where patients gathered. And it meant setting up an 800 number so that patients could call in. Training staff to be able to answer calls. Creating worksheets to capture the information. We also had to, of course, file the lawsuit in state court and publicize that entire court proceeding. Once we changed the CHP policy, of course we had to publicize uh, the new patient-friendly policy. This meant putting out a press release, putting out a report, and sending the CHP policy to cities across the state. The steps and tasks to, to letting uh, our community know uh, about how this happened was writing out the strategic plan and getting it out to everyone. We also had to initiate projects in localities across the state to encourage these local governments to adopt this policy. So the final step in your strategic plan is determining what resources are going to be necessary for you to accomplish each of these tasks and steps. At Americans for Safe Access, the resources we needed in the CHP campaign were the ASA staff and chapters and affiliates across the state.